My baby cries after meals, what to do? Perhaps it is because the muscles in the esophagus are not fully developed, or the nursing mother is consuming foods that irritate the baby. Whatever happens, the pediatrician must assess the situation. There are many reasons why a baby cries after meals. Either way, it is a source of stress and worries for parents. Indeed, the fact that a baby cries after meals does not seem normal. What to do in this case? In this video, we explain the different causes of this reaction as well as the solutions to the test. To remedy this, you must first know the cause behind this reaction. There are several possible causes for this. Whatever happens, it is always advisable to consult a pediatrician to assess the situation. Food allergy. If the mother breastfeeds her baby, she should keep in mind that whatever she eats, the baby also ingests it. Therefore, certain foods can cause allergies in infants. We must then identify those foods that cause the baby to cry during or after meals. On the other hand, it is the same with babies who are bottle fed. If an infant develops an allergy to any component of the formula, it is normal for them to cry during and after the intake. It is therefore essential to consult the pediatrician regarding the apparent symptoms. Some foods the mother consumes that irritate the baby indeed, as we said before, it is possible that certain foods ingested by the mother irritate the baby. In this regard, there are some foods that are best to avoid while breastfeeding. Legumes, citrus, spicy foods, onion, coffee, broccoli, and cauliflower. Gastroesophageal reflux. Food enters the stomach through the esophagus. However, when reflux occurs, the stomach contents rise and cause irritation. This sensation is quite uncomfortable and it is quite normal for the baby to cry after meals if he is suffering from gastroesophageal reflux disease. In babies, the esophageal muscle is not yet fully developed. It is therefore not surprising that the food goes up in the stomach. Indeed, it is one of the most frequent complications. Therefore, in addition to crying, babies usually vomit milk. However, as they grow and muscle develops, the symptoms and crying should go away. Thus, gastroesophageal reflux is normal. However, if it lasts too long, more than 12 months the baby may have gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD, which requires medical treatment. Among its symptoms are vomiting after meals, regurgitation even after the first year, irritability and crying after meals, refusal to eat, no weight gain. In these cases, the pediatrician will require diagnostic tests to be performed. Once the disease is detected, he will begin the appropriate treatment. Incorrect practice. The baby may be fed in the wrong position and incorrectly. Thus, it ingests air with food or eats too quickly. This can lead to unpleasant crying and discomfort after meals. What to do when a baby cries after meals? Depending on the origin of the crying, you can apply certain methods. However, whatever happens, it is essential to consult the pediatrician. If mom is breastfeeding her baby, it is essential that she eat a balanced, healthy diet and eat soft, healthy foods. It is therefore preferable to avoid the consumption of coffee or other foods that could irritate the little one. Always burp the baby after each feeding. This will prevent him from accumulating gas and crying after eating. Pay attention to the baby's position during meals so that he eats calmly and does not ingest air change formula if the doctor suggests it. The baby may be allergic to milk proteins. On the other hand, it is the pediatrician who must be at the origin of this change. Thank you for watching, you can watch more videos by clicking the links in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.